Hello. The length of a person's life. The length of a person's life depends on many reasons. This is a genetic predisposition and the environment and the mood of a person, his desire to live. Only a small percentage of the total number of people on Earth live to be 100 years old. According to experts gerontologists, the life expectancy of a modern person is 40% less than that allocated to him by nature. 100 to 120 years of active and full life is not the limit for the human body. According to classification of the World Health Organization, older people who've passed the 90 year mark are considered to be centenarians. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the limit of human life expectancy is 122 years. So long live Jean Louise Kalman, a resident of France who was born on February the 21st, 1875 in Arles. After becoming a world famous centenarian, who was included in the Guinness World Book of Records, Jean Coleman destroyed part of the family archive. She joked that God had forgotten about her, smoked until she was 117, fenced at 85, and rode a bicycle until she was 100, and explained the secret of her longevity by drinking red wine and chocolate. But little known Russian scientist, mathematician Nikolai Zag, and gerontologist Valery Nosilov called the world record into question. Researchers suggest that in 1934, the identity of deceased Jean Kalman was assumed by her daughter, Yvonne Kalman. The goal is to avoid paying 35% inheritance tax, which the family was forced to pay twice in 1931 after the death of her father and stepmother, Jean. Therefore, the mother was buried under the name of her daughter, who lived for another 63 years. Three years less lived a resident of the United States, Sarah Noss, who was born in 1880 and died on December the 30th, 1999. She's the oldest verified resident of the United States who's ever lived. Sarah Noss was born in Hollywood, Pennsylvania. Her parents were Walter and Amelia Clark. She worked as an insurance manager, married in 1901 and became a housewife in 1903. She gave birth to daughter Catherine and at the age of 117, she was recognized as the oldest person in the world. When her family told her about it, Sarah smiled back and said, so what? She died 33 hours before the 2000 celebration in a nursing home where she'd lived for nine years. No survived seven wars involving the United States and the administration of 23 presidents. Her only daughter, Catherine, died in 2005, having lived 101 years. 119-year-old Sarah Noose got a kiss from her great-great-great-grandson. Of the centenarians who reached the age of 117, Japanese resident Kane Tanaka, who was born on January 2, 1903, is still alive. She was a premature baby and fed on the milk of a wet nurse. Kane Tanaka married Hideo Tanaka on January 6, 1922. Kane Tanaka did not see her fiancé until the wedding. They had four children of their own and one adopted. During World War II, Kane worked with her husband in a store selling rice cakes. After her husband and son died in the war, she continued working in the store and retired at the age of 63. In the 1970s, she visited the United States where several of her nieces and nephews lived. At 103, Tanaka was diagnosed with colon cancer, but she was able to beat the disease after a five hour operation. Her son wrote a book about Kane when she was 107 years old, which tells about her life and longevity. Her great nephew believes that she's lived for so many years because of her faith in God. Tanaka herself believes the secret of her longevity is family, hope, healthy sleep, and diet. As of 2018, Kane Tanaka lived in Fukuoka Prefecture. At the age of 115, she moved with the help of a walker and lived in a nursing home. She likes to write poetry and remember her trips to the United States. She also enjoys calligraphy and computing. When asked how long she wanted to live, she said she wanted to live another five years. On July the 22nd, 2018, after the death of her compatriot, Chimiako, Kane Tanaka became the oldest living person. Europe's oldest resident, Lucille Randon, is only a year younger than Kane Tanaka. Lucille was born on February the 11th, 1904 in France. Little is known about the life of a French woman, but even once we looked at the facts from her biography, we can conclude that the woman led a righteous life, worked for the benefit of society. 
Lucille's father was a school teacher, Paul Randon. Lucille had a twin sister who died in 1905. In 1915, Lucille moved to live with her brother in Houdan, then in Saint-Etos. In 1916, Randon took a job as a governess in a Marseillaise family. In 1920, she went to Versailles and became a teacher for the children of another family. In 1922, she again changed her family, where she worked for 14 years as a governess. In 1923, she received baptism and communion. In 1945, she took a job at the Vicai Hospital to help orphans and the elderly, where she worked for 28 years. In 1979, she entered a monastery in Savoy, where she spent 30 years. In 2009, she arrived in Toulon and entered a local monastery at the age of 105. Jean Bott, a French centurion, is the oldest living French woman after Lucille Randon. Jean Bott was born on January the 14th, 1905 in the fortress of Mont-Louis, where her father served as a soldier. For 50 years, she worked as an accountant on the Boulevard Poincaré in the city of Perpignan. She never married or had children. Bott currently resides in Perpignan, Eastern Pyrenees, Occitanie, France. She is reported to have no serious health problems. Jean moves independently, using a walker between her bedroom and living room. Her only health problem is poor hearing, but she can still watch TV. Her co-eval Shigo Nikachi, born on February the 1st, 1905, is currently the fourth oldest person living in the world, and the second in Japan. Shigeo Nikachi was born on February the 1st, 1905, in Saga Prefecture, Japan. She was the second child of a family of five. Until the age of 62, she taught in kindergartens and junior schools. When she was over 90 years old, Shigo broke her hip twice, but continued to live independently until the age of 103. It was reported that she could walk without assistance at the age of 108. When she was 110 years old, she was visited by the mayor of the city of Sagar. In December 2018, she suffered from aspiration pneumonia, which caused her to be bedridden for many days and needing a breathing tube. When Shigeo was 114 years old, she still liked to communicate with others and dance with her hands. She also remained quite active, although she was completely deaf. Currently, Shigeo Nakachi lives in the city of Saga, which is located in the prefecture of the same name. In total, the list of the world's oldest people includes the 100 oldest verified centenarians in world history, ranging in age from 114 to 122. But many scientists and journalists believe the Guinness Book of Records does not have all the data about centenarians. For example, a reporter for the Cairo newspaper, Al Azkabar, tells about a man who, according to him, is 195 years old and remembers the opening of the Suez Canal very well. The Vietnam census in 1991 also made adjustments to the question of centenarians. In the county canal was discovered the man who turned 142. There in Vietnam, they found a long-lived woman who was born in 1847, survived her three husbands and has had four children who are already over 100 years old. One of the oldest inhabitants of Colombia, Javier Pereira, lived 169 years. A special postage stamp was issued in his honour. On the day when Pereira turned 146 years old, representatives of the authorities and top officials came to congratulate him. They asked for the consent of the hero of the day to have a commemorative stamp with his image issued in his honour. Pereira agreed but made a condition the stamp should be written at the bottom of the corner, I drink and smoke. In the Soviet Union, a postage stamp was also issued in honour of the long-lived Mohammed Ayazoy. He was 148 years old at the time. After that, Ayazoy lived for another three years. He died in August 1959. In the developed countries of the world, there's a constant struggle for survival and recovery of the nation, for increasing the life expectancy of each person. The increase in life expectancy in all countries of the world is achieved by reducing child mortality and reducing mortality from cancer and heart disease. Thus, by defeating diseases, humanity seeks to approach the upper limit of human life. Different scientists of the world speak differently about the upper limit of human life. The famous medieval physician Paracelsus believed that a person can live 600 years. Albrecht von Haller and Christoph Wilhelm Hufland, 18th century scientists, considered the upper limit of human life to be 200 years. Russian scientists Ilya Mekhinov and Alexander Bogomolet spoke of 160 years. Paradoxical as it may sound, few centenarians die a natural death from old age. 
Almost always the cause of death is various diseases, cardiovascular, oncological, or infectious. In the environment of centenarians are often found drunk. The surgeon policy man died at the age of 140, 1685 to 1825. From the age of 25, he was in the habit of getting drunk every day at the end of his studies. Gascony, a butcher in Trier in the Pyrenees, who died in 1767 at the age of 120, got drunk twice a week. The example of one Irish landowner, Brown, who lived to be 120 years old, is striking. He bequeathed a tombstone to him, stating that he was always drunk and so terrible in this state that death itself was afraid of him. But some centenarians like wine, others coffee. For example, the famous Voltaire was very fond of coffee, and when a doctor began to tell him that coffee is poison, Voltaire replied, It will soon be 80 years since I was poisoned by this poison. Coffee liver, Elizabeth Duran, lived 114 years. The second part. Genetics are closely studying these cases in order to understand what differentiates centenarians from ordinary people, and they found some common features. We have compiled for you a list of characteristics common to most centenarians. Some of them are innate, but some of them can be adopted by each of us. Genetic predisposition. Genes are the first thing scientists are interested in when it comes to centenarians, and although no specific longevity genes have been found, there are some similarities in such people. Most of those who've passed the centenary mark also have relatives who have lived a long life. For example, in the family of Jean Coleman, such people met in five generations. In addition, scientists have found a number of similar genetic mutations that occur in those who've lived 100 years or more. Perhaps because of them, the biological age of these people is 10 to 30 years less than the chronological age. Moderate nutrition. Normal weight and a modest diet is what distinguishes all centenarians. Among the Japanese, among them who the most centenarian people, the popular opinion is that you need to eat 80%, that is get up from the table a little hungry. Well-known centenarians from other countries confirm this theory. Not all of them ate perfectly, correctly, but each of them had a body mass index that was slightly lower than normal. Mediterranean and Japanese diets. The longest lifespan is in Japan, and the oldest one in the world lived in the south of France. Nutritionists have recognised these places to planet as the most prosperous in terms of diet. The Japanese consume a lot of fish and seafood, and the French olive oil, a lot of vegetables and fruits. All this is much more useful than fried red meat, fatty sauces, and other dishes popular in many countries. Social activity. Centenarians are distinguished by absence of mental changes characteristic of people of their age. They do not suffer from Alzheimer's disease or other brain damage. Many scientists believe that along with genetics, the preservation of the brain ensures their activity in society. For example, American Gertrude Weaver attended classes for pensioners even after her 115th birthday. The majority of centenarians continue to work and engage in social activities to a ripe old age. Number 5. Regular Physical Activity Constant physical activity does help to significantly extend life and those who've crossed the centenary mark prove of this. Most of them were engaged in sports from their youth and kept this habit until old age. For example, Jean Coleman rode a bicycle and engaged in fencing. Intellectual activity. It becomes more difficult to engage in intellectual work with age, but those who've lived long and remain sane can continue to do so until old age. Almost all centenarians remained lucid until death. Researchers have recorded that even at the age of 115, Many of them were able to solve mathematical problems and read fairly complex books. The absence of intellectual activity accelerates the ageing of the brain and contributes to the development of problems in its work. Communicating with younger people. Scientists have found that in adulthood, communication with young people has a positive effect on the psychological state and allows you to feel younger. People who work hard or socialise with people younger than them often feel better than their peers. In addition, communication with the younger generation allows you to feel more necessary and meaningful. If we talk about centenarians, then Mary Simone Caponi, who lived 113 years, never had children, but raised her nieces and nephews, also worked as a librarian until old age, and loved to communicate with people. Rich spiritual life. Almost all centenarians believed in God and were adherents of some religion. Scientists confirm that development of spirituality can really prolong life. At the same time, it does not matter whether a person is Catholic or a Buddhist. It's not the religion itself that helps, but first of all the social community that believers feel. 
Those who actively participate in the life of their religious community or organisation usually have a fairly large social circle. And people with a lot of like-minded people around them feel happier, experience less stress and suffer less from cardiovascular diseases. Thank you. Why not subscribe to our YouTube channel? Like the bell not to miss a video.